The 30th of April, 1993, is the date on the document with which CERN, the European Particle Physics Lab, gave up the right to charge royalties for World Wide Web technology. It's an important day and it's an important document. It allowed the web to take off. For me, editing the specifications and writing code and shepherding the loose international group of enthusiasts and early adopters, I knew that it was absolutely essential. I knew that none of the people I was talking to would have been involved at all if they had thought that they were buying into some commercially controlled product. Ten years later, the lesson of that document is just as important. We have had a wave of technology, and despite the overhyped dot-com boom, ten years later, we have the world operating more efficiently in lots of ways, and there are things that we can do now which we just couldn't do before. So the web we have, if we had not had that document from CERN, we would not have the web. But the web's not done. There are many more things we can do with web technology, more technology which is coming along, which also must be developed in a web-like way, in a decentralized way. There's voice browser technology to, which will completely change the things we can do with human interface. There's web services technology and semantic web technology which will allow machines to talk to each other to do electronic commerce and all kinds of other things, allowing them to actually solve problems for us instead of just bring the problems in to us in the form of email and web pages which we see every day. So there are lots of exciting things and for just the same reason, these must be released into the public domain or they must be made available so that at least the basic infrastructure, the web standards must be available so that they can be implemented free of royalties. So it's good to look back after 10 years and see how important it was. Look at the other technologies which were taking off at that time, which didn't happen partly because with some of them the intellectual property rights were not clear. Some of them, there was the hint of royalties down the road, which really put off both the individual programmer who was going to uh, devote some time in the middle of the night, and also the corporation, which was going to allow some, some of their researchers to play in the field. So we need to remember that when great things come out of research labs, uh, whether they're corporate or government funded, then we must remember that in the case of web technology, that investment must be ploughed in. It's very important for the new thing to grow that the infrastructure be royalty free. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking CERN for being the place that it is, for being the place where I was allowed to play with the World Wide Web, to write those first few programs uh, and have such a lot of fun. I hope everybody's having a lot of fun now and dreaming up lots of ideas. And I'm sure that lots of exciting things will come out of CERN in unexpected ways. We remember that we don't look for the short term, the visibility of some bottom line where we see how we make a product out of it in a few year, days. When we make something like new web technology, we're looking to make something completely new, which will bring us all sorts of exciting things in the near future, in the more distant future, which we really can't anticipate today. So with that thought and with thanks to CERN for being and for that very important document uh, 10 years ago, I leave you. Thank you.